like me and Judy here, Golden Glove champions of that three times. Oh, oh yeah. Three times. Oh, yeah. Three times Golden Glove champion. That motherfucker's still yo, going he, strong. He, 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 he said he's 65. He don't look 65. <laughs> that nigga look like he's 19 years old. I never said he was 65. What did he do? I said he's 65, but he's 19 years old. He mind me of me when we talk. Whippa! Can you tell, tell me some history from back in the days? Back in from the days? Bushwick. Back in the I want to know some Bushwick. We ran the whole. We ran the whole. We ran the whole motherfucking thing. Everybody says different than lying. They're lying. There ain't nobody woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning and drink a Coke 45 in the morning. Eat bread, motherfucker. Eat bread and shit in the morning. That was our breakfast. You know what I'm saying? We used to get up. Break night, yeah, it's still like breakfast. Party. It's they still party. About food. We see bread. <laughs> we should take shower on the Johnny back in the day. No, and still go to the bread factory. Go to the bread factory. We still stay in the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And wash up with a wash rag. Yeah. 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 Word. When you learn how to, how to scratch your ass that's out there in the snow and shit like that. That's how we used to survive. That's how we used to survive. Then you know, you know, how to to how you know, then you know the value of life. You know what value you got to put on. Then you right. know what you got to spend and what you don't got to spend. Right. What you got to Say what you don't gotta say. Yo, so how, how much education you gotta put up on the side? You know what I mean? How to get your education? Right. How to put your little things That's on the right. side so you'll be able to get something better? That's right. You know, That's how we learn. You gotta save something to get something. You know what I mean? We can't be we can't be living around just because you see us like this and shit like that. We came a long way to be able to do what we do now. Yeah. You know, long way, long way. We can't. You know, a lot of us oh. scrape, a lot of us scrape the satin fists and all. We met, yo, yo, not easy. It's not easy, it's not easy, baby. It's not, not easy, easy, man. You know, not easy. You know, you know, I do what I do here, but I'm not easy. Can't hang it to me. Wipe my ass. I tell you, I tell you the way it is. You see us with colors and all that. It's not that easy. You know what the colors is all about. Yeah. You have to get there first. Right. Before you got there, you have to scrape, swallow, scream, spit, everything. And you gotta you earn. What that means? You gotta earn, Pat. You ain't got no way. And if you wanted to be one of us, or wanted to be like us, or anything like that, you got a long way to go. And you got a long way to learn how we do it. Oh. This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, man. A lot of us went through a lot of things. We went through a lot. Yeah. I, 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 I was Mr. I came from the scrape. I came over the way. I was Mr. USA, Mr. 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 Nautilus, Mr. Physique, Mr. Fitness, all that stuff like that. But I had to bust my ass at least 10 years before I even got there. That's true. You know, here's a man who got golden gloves and he, he went, he busted his ass to get one of the This motherfucker. You know? Now that don't mean we're rich. Mm -hmm. That don't mean we're worth it. Yeah. We can't do what we yeah. can't do what all these big guys doing up there drinking yeah. champagne every day. Yeah. Yeah. But I can have a glass of beer and drink it down in the corner with in yeah. peace. Yeah. And this motherfucker, nobody bothers. This, this nigga here can lift three hundred pounds a weight. Go up to five hundred and still I'm doing five hundred. I go to two fifty and he still can beat me. Wow. And we just that, that long. Man. You know, you got to have love in your heart, right. faith in your heart, faith. love in your soul. Wow. You ain't got none of that, man. You ain't got nothing. Yeah, nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's how the we are. Love, That's peace, peace, and child. Yeah. Peace. Yo, so I heard that you guys used to uh, take care of the neighborhood and uh, like the dancers That's take care of the dancers. The That's it. I started like, back in the day, man. right? I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the way it really is, man. When it came down to, to, to things back, like I'm older than he is, and he's like, he like almost like my son. But like, when we first started, man, it wasn't about gangs and all that stuff like that, shooting up on a thing like you see on there. What was that movie on there? West Side, uh, West Side Story. It wasn't nothing about all that. I mean, but that's the way it was when we went to fight. 
Mm -hmm. You know, it was a knife, a chain, a black eye. I mean, you would go home and be glad you went home with a black eye. The warriors. What about the warriors? You know, that back in these days out here, guys want to come out with guns and kids and get, get, get it over with. Mm -hmm. Why you want to give your, somebody's mother that kind of misery? Yo, back in the day, was, you know, back in the yo, day, you be, you be glad to get a little cut in your arm and something like that. You know, what I mean? you know when we start, when we first started, it was the idea of defending our neighborhood, defending our parents from getting beat up, from getting our parents from getting mugged out in the street, all that stuff like that. You don't see none of that out here no more, because everybody's mugging everybody up for their drugs, and the minute they get drugs, they don't understand. One drug will lead you to another, and don't let nobody tell you different. You can start with a little beer, it's going to drain you to alcohol, from alcohol it's going to run you right down to, to smoke, from smoke it's going to lead you to crack, from crack it's going to lead you to dope, from dope it's going to lead you to oxytane or whatever they want, with gasoline. Mm. And that's the way it is. And you want the truth, those are the facts of life. Keep away from all that and you won't have a problem in the world. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. You know, people look at us bikers, and us gang guys and shit like that, like we all bad. We all big thrillers and shit like that. This ain't no James Cagney movie or nothing like that. Half of, most, most of the majority of the here guys are work, got a family to take care of, got all this thing like that, and they got to go through, through hell and high water just to pay the bills. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then you got the rest of us. The rest of us, man, some of us ain't got a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, obligation. But we still have an obligation to ourselves that we're, we're decent men. Mm -hmm. We're not guys that are over here killing everybody else or talking about that we're called we ride a bike, we're supposed to be hard rock beer. Yeah, we love our beer, we love our liquor. We love getting stoned out of our mind and partying and screwing with the next girl and everything else. Mm -hmm. But let me explain something. We're human beings. Mm. We know the difference between right and wrong. You know, and sometimes we'll bend the rules just to do what's right more than what we're doing that's wrong. We might do one thing wrong to protect the other thing that's right. You know, but we're not evil people. And this is what people have to understand. We are not bad. Just because you see me with a rag around my head and I got all this thing and I've got raggedy pants and, and I've got chains and all that. That doesn't mean I'm a killer. Oh, I might be the most lovable motherfucker you ever seen in your life. Don't don't don't, don't fuck you know? with us. But don't mess with me the wrong way. You, know, you cross the line. Up. That's why we call that's why I excuse me. You cross the line, you trespass on him, you stand in front of me and call him a nigga, you might get dicked. I can call him a nigga because that's my nigga. You can't call him. Because you don't know him that way. Understand? There's a thing about knowledge. Like I said before, if you know the brother that well, you were raised with him, you were spitz man, he screwed in the same bed and all that kind of shit. Now you can call that's my nigga. You understand? You, you ain't bled the same blood he did at the same time. Then you ain't got no kind of way to be saying that kind of shit. You know? But you gotta understand, that's a human being too. And he bleeds like I bleed. You know? And he has to be respected as well as I gotta be respected. And if you want respect, give respect. And then you can get along. You know, that's all I can tell you right now, because I just start going off. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. What the fuck? That's man? good. Wow. Yeah, baby, like that's that. some knowledge, that's kid. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's how we kick it, bro. That's wow. how we do it, bro. It's just the idea. That's how we we're, do. Not a whole, we're not all a bunch of idiots, man. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got a master's degree, son. Huh? No. Yeah. I got a master's degree. I got a master's degree on the streets, bro. I, I, do, I do graphics. I do all kinds of things, man. I don't, I don't need to be doing this. I can make my own. Okay, right. 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 Shout out to Blushy. Blushy. 
Chino, Apache, Legs, all the double rebels that have been out there for years ago. We used to tip protect our family, and that's where we went. Rest we in peace, Magilla, Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes. Rest in peace, Blue Eyes. Rest in peace, little boy. Little boy used to be a uh, devil rebel. Rest in peace to all the family out there in the world. We still here. We devil rebels are still here. We still alive. We still here. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, rebels for life. Can, um, can you tell me something about your dance history? My dance history, when I learned when I was a double rebel band, I used to learn how to do the break dance. I was break dancing when I was eight, when I was a kid. I learned from them doing, I learned from the devil rebels. I used to break dance. That was my thing. That's how we used to do. We used to break dance, dance, rumble, and everything. That's how I used to learn how to break dance. I learned from the best. I learned from the best. I learned from the Apache.